Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Hey? Come on, go check it out. Sure thing. Thumbs up, mate. Hmm? What was that noise? Thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Yes, please. If you'd follow me. I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madame's funeral, and then she turns up alive. Oh, but by the way, business I told Kate about this text. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she thanked me. I was in. We had a really good talk about it, actually. Oh, what did I tell you? She's a sensible woman. And that stuff from your ex was like manipulation 101. I know. I know. I guess I thought she was going to read in and freak out. Just say I must have done something to provoke her. Shit, Caroline really did a number on you. You'll be over quick, sir. Please move on in an orderly fashion. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madame Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments, or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zimmer? Zachary's sleeping quarters. I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir.
Patrick is giving you a really hard time. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madame's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if it's yeah, affected it real. by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspected The dead body of Zachary Carlyle, Alexa's little brother. I wonder what happened to him, 47. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. run through his plan for the spring seedlings yesterday. Yes, sure. But he, he was upset believing his sister was dead. I'd say worried about how things would be handled with Gregory and Emma taking over. I said they let him say... making life miserable for everyone. Anyone copy? I knew it. Get it over yet, boy. You got your orders. I expect you to carry them out, understand? We'll end this. Think about the paperwork later.
I want you to be here, Matt and Carla are fed up. Oh, my heart would have jumped right out of my head. Zachary's diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. of gum right there. American lawyer in the, the small office. Did you check his travel documents? Everything's in order. Oh, uh, just remembered I went for a stroll behind the greenhouse last night. Maybe that's where it is. I actually. Yeah, I, I should uh, let you go. Yeah, same. Okay. Gentlemen. Hmm. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Madame Carla's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. There's no family without secrets for 47. But this family seemed to outdo most. Look at me getting all giddy. It's like year 10 all over again. Hey, Rebecca. Do you see this about old Wompy? Looking good today, sir. trophy room and the office safe is hidden behind a portrait <laughs> with a secret mechanism for uncovering it uh, it's got real soul first time here yep yeah it's impressive all right a safe in madame carla's office i bet that's where she keeps the file on arthur edwards
Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. What? Jake, two ship rep from Delta Excuse Four Niner. Situation here is Fubar. Send Charlie six five to do a cleanup. Over. That is so broken. Are you? Lifestyle. Come, sit down. Oh, mind you. Take him down. Roger that. We lost him. <laughs> 